Hey everyone, this is Matt from worldofmaticus.com and today I'm going to show you how to heal Karsh Steelbender, the third boss in Black Rock Caverns on Heroic. Typically what most groups like to do is they try to skim Karsh through the middle and uh, just to try to maintain that armor debuff of his and you know they just try to volley it up so that it doesn't fall off because if it does fall off we get a whole stream of adds and a big column of fire just uh, just as you see there. And here come the ads, and they're converging upon me. And this is this is one of the main challenges that I found on this fight was both healing the tank, and uh, trying to heal through the the ad damage as as well as the other stuff that was going on. Our approach on this attempt wasn't the ideal one because when we killed the ads, they dropped pools of fire in the uh, you know when where they died, and when the boss ran over top of it, you know he would get superheated as well. But then he would lose his uh, armor debuff like that and trigger additional ads. So, you know, that's not exactly the way we did it. Uh, most groups try to skim the center column of the fire, but in my experience, I found that, uh, from what I've heard, the tanks have a difficult time trying to, trying to move him and maneuver him around, basically. So we tried a different tactic altogether. You know, in case your group isn't quite able to, to do that, uh, what we ended up doing was... You know, we figured out since the healer attracts a lot of a threat, we figured we would use the outside of the room instead. So we would move around from quadrant to quadrant around the outside of the of the area, outside of the grate. Um, we would gradually stack up the armor debuff to about six or seven or so. It's, it's fairly manageable, especially if your gear is in, you know, entry level heroics or, or dungeon blues or that kind of thing, um, just to help. Uh, ease the ease the pressure on the group overall. Um, now, since the guys, since all the little fire ads are coming out uh, to the outside, we, the ranged players were able to safely kill them and drop the pools uh, outside of the middle, where it wouldn't be a factor for our tanks at all. Myself personally, my job is focusing on keeping the tank alive, obviously, and making sure that the rest of the group's health is above a a certain value. I pick something like thirty thousand or forty thousand. You know, uh, once they're above that, I'll give them maybe a renew, and just keep uh, bouncing around and making sure everyone's health is is relatively high. The only exception is the tank, though. I try to keep them as high as possible. You know, near uh, ninety percent or uh, or if at all possible. You know, somewhere around uh, around that range. And if that's not doable, you have to you have to coordinate with the tank here and just tell them to to pop your to pop their cooldowns, especially when you're under kind of high pressure situations uh, throughout some of the not just this encounter but a lot of other ones. So anyway, just treat this this uh, method as an alternative approach to this boss. Thanks for watching.